Hello again, I'm Stan Boney. I'm Lindsay Watson. We begin tonight with the latest on an officer-involved shooting. We had live breaking news coverage during First News tonight at 5 and 6. And now tonight later, we know one person is dead after police chase that started as a traffic stop on State Street in Struthers. The chase started in Struthers, but went on for seven miles along Interstate 680, ending on Youngstown's west side at the intersection of Salt Springs Road and Steel Street. That's where the suspect pulled a gun and was killed by police. Now, this all happened around 5 p.m., and the scene has remained active since then. First News Weekend anchor Megan Lee has been at the scene all night long working to gather more information. She joins us live now with the latest. Megan. Good evening, Lindsay and Stan. Now, this scene is looking quite different than it did just a few hours ago. I mean, there was at least a dozen police cruisers here when the scene was first active. It's still active right now. I did see the coroners leave the scene, but Youngstown Police Department is still here, and it's still taped off with caution tape. Now, I also recently just spoke with Chief Tim Roddy from Shothers Police Department, and he tells me that his officers that are involved are at the hospital. They're getting checked out just as a precautionary measure. And I also spoke with a Youngstown resident that actually saw the cruisers um, flying down the street and he, he, let's take a listen to what he had to say. She screams she, she, when she hears it she runs daddy 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 what was that? Marcus a Youngstown resident here on the west side tells me his four-year-old daughter is familiar with the sounds of gunshots and sirens. Marcus tells me he saw the police chasing a vehicle near the area of Salt Springs Road and Steel Street. I see in Youngstown police fly past my friend's house. Um, I'm just trying to get home, make sure everything was okay at home. Marcus came upon a scene of an officer involved shooting. The Struthers police chief tells me it originally started as a traffic stop in Struthers. When he was trying to stop the car, uh, and it's cloudy at this point, but the driver of the car attempted to hit the officer. At that point, officers were led on a chase as the suspect started to drive away. According to Captain Jason Simon from Youngstown Police Department, his officers got involved once the pursuit went on to 680 and into the west side. The suspect vehicle went to make a right-hand turn. At that point, we had two of our cruisers that uh, converged on them. It was at Steel Street and Salt Springs Road where officers got out of their vehicles. Tasers were used. A gun was uh, produced by the suspect. The suspect was pronounced dead at the scene. Now Marcus is making a plea to the people of the area. Y'all, we got to put our guns down. Stop running from the police. You did something wrong. Suck it up. Be a man about it. Marcus also told me he's asking the legal system to keep dangerous people with guns inside of the jail. Now, YPD and the Struthers Police Department did ask BCI to investigate this, and that is what they're doing. If we have any more information, we'll be sure to update you on it. Live in Youngstown, Megan Lee, WKBN 27 First News.